Hi. Well, yeah, I apologize for my hair. Um, it's gonna look different probably by the end, the next time I put something to the video. Uh, but I just broke up with my boyfriend. I would like to say it was because this guy asked me to, but it was more because yesterday I felt like mystery guy was in my vicinity. And like I said in the first video, I, I think I talked about it, it's like my whole skin, my whole skin, my whole body, it's like it get, catches on fire and it's like tight and uncomfortable and I just had to like stand outside and ride my bike and all the music reminded me of him and blah 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 blah. So I was like, you know what, this morning my boyfriend's all like happy Easter with a little kissy face and I'm just like, when you, the guy who you're in a relationship relationship with sends you a kissy face and a happy Easter wish and your reaction is, God, you, uh, you should probably cut that bitch off. Yeah. Um, I'll try not to play any more music in my videos, or when I do, I will show you that it's on my iPod purchased off of iTunes so I don't get more copyright claims because it's really ridiculous to me if a big company wants to copyright claim me and get monetary value off of my fucking video with like five views like seriously are you for real are you for real really who am I I am not famous or popular I'm just this girl sitting in her room making videos about somebody who doesn't even know they're being made so in my opinion you need to chill look out and back Check yourself before you wreck yourself, cause you toe up on the flow up. Black girl fast. Anyway, yeah, it's Easter. Happy Easter, by the way. Uh, it's the day that Jesus died and came back and The Walking Dead was created. Not, no, not completely, you know, on a Sunday, but. Uh, anyway, um, you yeah, know, for now, it's two minutes, so that's good for now. I guess I'll just add a little bit more when my hair is. Now I think I'm in love with George Ezra, which is pretty freaking ridiculous. So all you fangirls can back up off me. Okay? I don't think it, it doesn't make any sense anyway, so. Yeah, be pretty dumb. I just, there are a lot of blonde-eyed, blue-eyed guys in the world who are apparently taller than me with deep voices. It's extremely hard to pinpoint who exactly I'm talking about. It gets more depressing every day. Like it like gets depressing and yet not depressing. Depressing yet exciting. Exciting only because it was like he was here. And that's the only reason why it's exciting. Otherwise, it's just fucking sad. <laughs> uh, I got my passport. I found it. I really, and it's random, but I'm really happy about that. I found it, and now I don't gotta worry about getting another one. Oh, I lost weight. You can't tell, but I did. So that's uh, that's extremely cool. Um, I washed my hair, and I feel like I don't feel like blow drying, which is why it's not like this. Um, I think I might just leave it like this, cause. I just, I just don't care enough. <laughs> I just put some oil and stuff in it, but it's usually like how I feel when I do my hair. I just, I just, like, <sighs> I should, I should chop my hair off again. Like I used to have it like, cut really, really short. I should just do that again because it was so much easier. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, that there's my update. I think I'm in love with George Ezra. I just figure out what the hell he looks like. <laughs> I had no clue. I, had, I, I, I didn't even know who he was. But he's British. Which is really cool. Because I like British people. I just love them. I feel like I'm my prior life. I'm from Britain. Or the UK. Or London. Or something like that. And I just I just feel like a deep connection with people from London. And I know, and I know this accent is really bad. So like, please don't judge me. I do feel like in the life before I had this one that I was possibly from London and he was from America and now we're confused because we're two different people but we have the same heart like uh, Ed, Sheeran, Ed Sheeran said like uh, um, our hearts beat the same way 
still be the same way and all that. So like, the heart will never grow old, it's evergreen. Cause your body grows old, but your heart doesn't. So. <laughs> part of me is from heaven and the other heart part of me is from hell. <laughs> You know, I don't know if you like if you ever heard that um that saying that God is your father and the devil is your brother. That's how I feel about it. Like the devil is your brother and God God is your dad because you know we're all God's children and whatnot. And he was God's child before he was Lucifer. So um that's a whole other story. That's where I was writing a book and that's where I got that idea from. But I wouldn't have known because I started writing it in fourth grade, so I don't know where it came from. I heard in a roundabout way that someone had that I let read it, their parents burned it because they felt that it was sacrilegious and that hurts my feelings quite a lot because um, I was only, I was very young and a lot of effort went into that book and I just think it's highly inappropriate for parents to destroy something somebody else has made because of their religion, which is why I don't believe in religion, which is a whole other story and I can get into that next time. I can't believe in religion because people think that they can take their religion and then tell other people how to be and who to be and what not to do and what not to say and who not to be with because of their religion, which is really dumb because, first of all, even if you believe in that book, you weren't there when it was written, so... Who the fuck are you? Like, if you're not there when it's written, and you're not there when the events took place, like, in 2015, you have no fucking right to say that gays can't love one another, and black people are stupid, and liars and cheaters are going to hell, and the justice system is also fucked up because, um... Like, when you murder people, after they murdered somebody, you're not really getting justice because you didn't bring the person back. You're just getting vengeance. And, um, um, I'm, I forgot, um, the phrase, how it goes, but it's like, vengeance is digging a grave for your enemy and also digging a grave for yourself. So, I think this video is seven minutes and I need to stop. Because I'm getting on to like 7,000 different topics. But um. My love. People. You um. 20 or so people who actually watch my videos. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't, I didn't press the button. Thanks.